Hey everybody, I'm a little late today. Sorry about that. But this morning my phone was being wonky and let's see, it was pouring down rain and I just, I got all dressed to lace up shoes and was ready to go. And then my phone kept asking for stuff, redoing something on iTunes and anyway. The morning got away from me and then I started with getting ready for uh, this evening's dinner and posting stuff, getting ready for Tuesday because I stay it two days out. But hey, I'm here now with Chaos to Clean and we're on day 27. And I know y'all are out doing busy stuff and anyway, this is a funny one. Because I should have been on at 10 o'clock this morning to get you ready. Because here's what it says. And I think me, I almost skipped it. But, you know, perfectionism kicks in. And I've done 27, 26 days in a row. You know how it is. The question today is, what's for dinner? Do you know what's for dinner? Well, we planned what's for dinner earlier in the week. So we planned for leftovers. And adding a new thing each night. And so uh, we knew what was for dinner yesterday. Because I cooked, I got potatoes ready to do potato salad. And I threw that together today. I'd already had it ready to go. I just had to put the sauce over it and some eggs in it. And then we had macaroni salad left over from yesterday. We had brats and peppers and onions for dinner last night and then all all we're adding i'm adding corn on the cob to today's dinner with leftover macaroni salad because it's always better the second day and then baked beans left over and i know what's for dinner i know we're going to be eating leftovers and leftovers on into the week my refrigerator's cleaned out and we're good to go. But when you ask yourself this at 10 o'clock in the morning, whether you get the reminder on the app or you just say to yourself as part of your morning routine and part of your before bed routine the night before, what am I cooking tomorrow? Well, I knew I was going to be cooking barbecue chicken today. Tomorrow I'm hoping to do hamburgers, but I may have to do hamburgers in the house because... We're expecting rain. We've already had an inch of rain today. Robert's got all wet. He was out working on the driveway. It's just always something. So we know what's for dinner. And because I know what's for dinner, I don't have to be in a huge hurry. Because it's done. I've got corn on the cob in aluminum foil. I love to do corn on the cob in aluminum foil. And... It's in the oven, but I'm making leftovers so we can have some more tomorrow night. Knowing what's for dinner and using your calendar. Let me get the calendar. To help you menu plan is powerful. Um, in January, I've got a menu plan here. Or summer, January. That I do it with post-it notes. And this was a tip from a fly baby. These are the just sticky part on little post-it notes and she uses them and she peels them off and goes to the, you know, a couple, three weeks down the road and they just move. I know when I was little, we had something called color forms, little sticky things that you made paper dolls and stuff with. Well, post-it notes can do this for your calendar. How cool is this? This is... It makes menu planning so fun. It's almost like it's planned for itself. And you just move it a few more weeks down down the calendar. Uh, get your calendar ordered. We have a coupon code ending tonight. Always, uh, most coupon codes end on Sunday night. And then we get started on a new one next week. Ugh, not fun, but 
I'm reading comments and getting grossed out, so I'm not gonna, even going to mention them. But everybody have a good day. I'm going to keep this short and sweet because I might want to take a nap in a minute. It's Sunday, and it's kind of like renew your spirit. I got most of my work done for Tuesday, so that means I won't have to do anything tonight. And everybody just have a wonderful day and just enjoy a you know, time with your family and time for yourself. So y'all have a good day. I'll see you later. I apologize for being late, but stuff happens. Bye.